everybody. Hey, Spirit here and so glad you clicked on my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks so much to my new subscribers and everyone who's shown me so much love. I really appreciate it. Today's uh, tutorial, yes, a tutorial is going to be a pedicure tutorial of sorts or basically how I do my toes. So I chose this cute color from the Dollar Tree and I really think it's expressing spring and green is my favorite color. So I really hope that you enjoy the video and I will let you know what I think about the polish at the end of the video. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, here is the final result and it's this beautiful spring color. Now, before I started painting my nails, I do wear a respirator um, because I have multiple chemical sensitivity and it helps protect me from the odors. Now, there are gonna be some things that you're gonna need. Toe separators, clippers, file, buffer, cuticle nippers, towel, a bottom coat, your color, your top coat, some jewels that we're not going to use, a brush, that we're not going to use and polish remover. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi. Now I put down a paper towel so that we won't have any kind of mess. And now I'm putting on my toe separators and these are gel toe separators. And I've sped up the video a little bit for the next few clips so we can move this along. Now I'm applying some oil and basically this is um, hemp oil, but you can use any kind of natural oil, coconut oil, olive oil, etc. And also this is going to be a mini petty. And basically what a mini petty is, is it's a pedicure minus the foot soak, the foot scrub, and the massage. And basically it just saves time and money. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm still placing the oil on my cuticles and my nails. All right. And now you're gonna need your cuticle pusher and you're gonna push back the cuticles using the pusher. And this is going to expose more of your nail bed, which will give you more nail to place your polish on. The bigger your nail, the better. So I'm gently pushing back the cuticle all the way around the nail. And you might even use some gentle circular motions as well to help release that skin from the nail. And here is my big toe and I turn the cuticle pusher around. And you can use both ends if need be. And for the final push. Okay, now for the nippers. So you're gonna use the nippers to cut off the dead skin that you just pushed away. So you're gonna be very careful with these nippers and you're going to clip or nip the dead dry skin or your old cuticles that you just pushed back. And as you can see, I'm also snipping the skin around my toes as well. So not just the cuticle, but if you have any extra skin around your toes, you can use the nippers to trim that skin away. and I'm just showing you what I cut off. OK, 
Okay, continue nipping. Come all the way around the bottom of the toe. There we go. Now it's time to use my old busted buffer. <laughs> now this thing is old, but I still use it. And I'm gonna use the green side because the green side is a little, little more textured. And we're gonna use the buffer to kind of smooth out the nail a little bit to get rid of any ridges that are in the nail to make the polish stay and also to make the polish look smoother. So you're gonna do this for all of the toes. There we go, that's what it looks like so far. We still have a lot of work to go. There we go. And now for the clippers. Now, I don't like my toenails long and somebody might say, well, they're not really long. It is preference, but I like to keep mine rather short because that way um, I can keep my polish on for three to four weeks. <laughs> so if you change out your polish more regularly, perhaps you can maybe consider keeping your toenails longer. And now I'm gonna use my coarse file to file pretty much across the tops. I kind of want to file a square kind of situation at the top of my nail. And gently over the sides, I'm going to create a squoval shape. So that's square and oval. but this, this thick coarse file helps me to really get it done. Now for the precision file. That's what I'm gonna use more for the corners of my nails to smooth it out and to create that squoval-like shape. And that's what that smaller precision file is for. It makes it easier to get into the corners. Okay, getting the sides. There we go. And now you need an old rag with either alcohol or you can use the toenail polish remover. And this is to get all the dust off and the oil. Now we're going to apply the clear bottom coat and most of the time I don't use the clear coat to skip a step to, you know, won't take as much time, but it really is a good idea because it keeps the nail from staining from the polish colors. So I would recommend a clear bottom coat. And this one is Sally Hansen. And it really doesn't matter. I wouldn't use the dollar store clear coats, but that's just me. And now we have color 506, LA Colors, Color Crave. And I purchased this from the Dollar Tree for $1. And now we're starting our first coat. And it's a little translucent. So I can already tell we're probably gonna have to do at least two or three coats here. And that's the thing about getting a quality polish. Um, quality polish, you're pretty much gonna, sometimes you can even get away with one coat, but with these cheaper polishes, you're gonna need two to three coats. There we go. For the last toe. So we really can't see what the color is going to look like. It's kind of a translucent. It, it, it's just way, way, way see-through. So 
So I'm gonna give you an up close. It has a white hue to it. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but yeah. We have a little more work to do, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna apply a second coat. And it's really not to my satisfaction. <laughs> and that's going to be taken into consideration with the rating that I give this polish. But the color's pretty, but it looks like we're gonna need another coat. I can say it goes on fairly smoothly and easily. It's not too watery, so I like that. So here is one foot with two coats and one foot with one coat. Here's the two coats looking better. And here is one coat. There we go. Doing a little touch up. Okay, and now both feet have two coats of polish. It's looking better, it's definitely looking better, but I think we can make it look a little richer. So we're gonna put a third coat on. Now, because I'm putting on three coats, I'm not gonna add any jewelry to my toes. I'm just not gonna bother doing that because I don't wanna mess anything up and I'm not an expert. So we just finished with the three coats. I'm drying it just a little bit, maybe for 20 seconds or so. And now it's time for Seche Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. You can get this from Sally's for about $10. And uh, make sure that you get the top coat because the bottom coat jar looks almost identical. Now I just love Seche Vite because it makes your nails look like you you almost have a shellac on top of your 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 polish it's super super shiny and it gives a depth a dimension a thickness almost like an acrylic and it doesn't chip on the toes so it'll stay on forever it's really thick as it applies and it dries extremely fast Just cleaning off the sides, making sure you don't want to flood the cuticle. And if you do accidentally flood the cuticle, just run your nail um, at the cuticle. Don't worry about the polish because your nail will pick up the excess. So just dig into your cuticle and slide your nail across the cuticle on the sides. And that should pick up the polish, the excess polish. or you can use the little brush and the polish remover that I have in my picture at the beginning of the video that we're not gonna use today. All right, now there is the top coat and it looks really, really, really nice. Look at that, look at that, beautiful. So much better. I think we did pretty well. What do y'all think? <laughs> and now for my rating, I'm rating this polish an eight out of 10. I think it did a pretty good job, but we can do better. So this is the final product. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video, everybody. I certainly enjoyed preparing it for you. So if you like this, please join the Spirit family where we spread love and kindness to make this world a better place. You have a special invitation from me to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. There will be so many more videos to come. God bless always and always God bless. Bye-bye.